welcome back to infinite wealth so off camera i decided to do a few of the hello work things there's still a couple more up here but they're a higher level i'm gonna do them later but let's actually start doing story because yeah it's been a bit hmm or i can do that nah i don't like the billboard guys all right we're going to actually let me go to kamarocha real quick i want to see if anything's popped up there I meant to check Kamarocho, but I forgot. Alright, let's see. There's a bunch of Hello Works, and there is a side quest. Okay. So there are side quests here. A few of them, but we'll do them later when I increase in level. Alright, let's do it. Let's actually do story. We can do Kamarocho things after. I need to get a little better. I got an by a new weapon, by the way. I got around 2,000... Two million yen? Yeah, two million yen. I use some of that yen. Let's go to Sergei clan, clan branch and let's see what happens. I'm very curious. I know bad oh. things are about to happen. Is this where? The Seri you set up shop? Yep. I'm sure it's hard to swallow, seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. I guess it must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are, the new owners. Ijincho's just not big enough for them anymore. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. The symbol of the Tojo clan falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. Oh dear, Kiryu's gonna punch the face off of them. Kiryu-san, maybe hang back for now. You get caught here, it's all over. The same for Sunhi, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. I don't think this is gonna go well for him. Hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Nanba. I heard Sawashiro-san might be around. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, uh, you see, Sawashiro-san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Now kindly get gone. Oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? Besides... Uh, there's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Well, then how about you set me up a meeting with Ebina-san? You know, your captain? Why, <laughs> me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? What? Oh, it's Kasuga's buddy. Oh, he has a white beard now. Huh. I'm Narasaki, lieutenant of the Seiryu clan. Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. At least straight. I think that's him. I don't think that's him. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Really, Narasaki-san? You're gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit. But I didn't think it was this bad. How could anyone not recognize you? I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. Hey, I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. Oh god, we're going back into the Tojo clan. Well, now the Seryu clan residents. <sighs> no way. Well, well, well. There he is. That's him. Allow me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. 
I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. Hmm. You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. I don't need a guide. Is that right? So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. But fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. That guy's probably going to be a boss later. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. So, are we going to talk about that dirtbag in the shades? Oh, yeah. I think his name's Narasaki. Cocky guy like cocky guys like him come with the territory. Don't like it, do you? Yeah, definitely not Kazuya's friend. It looked like him for a second, but it's not him. Easy for you to say. I was ready to go to war. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you've got my back. Mm. So, this is Tojo Clan headquarters. Or was I mean? First time for me too. Crazy, I'm actually here. You know, this rem almost reminds me of the inside of the Diet Building. I went there on a field trip back in grade school. Ah. You're saying a Yakuza HQ with the Japanese government looks similar? Bold comparison. Hey, I wasn't trying to make a point. Just saying what I felt. They're both official feeling. Well, whatever they are, just remember this isn't a field trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Got swept up in the excitement. Evan is probably waiting for us in the meeting room. It's upstairs. Hey, it's your neck. Of, uh, it's your neck of the woods. By all means, lead the way. I'm curious. Can we actually explore? We can. Wow, this place is huge. Guess this is for banquets and the like, huh? Uh huh. Well. Um, I don't know the details, but they have had funerals for past, some of the past chairman. Oh. Here. Oh, yeah. Now you mention it. It does have that vibe. Yeah. At least two took place here. Though I guess one did turn out to be fake. <laughs> did you say fake? They faked a chairman's funeral? Yeah. I've actually heard rumors about that. Huh. I knew schemes were given in the Tojo clan. But I never thought they'd go that far. Man, I don't got no bore. Tell us the story later. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm up to it. Which one was it that faked her death again? I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, I can't go in here. Damn. All right. Oh, hello. Face there, so I can catch your eye. Oh. oh, you're gonna praise it for us, curious son? All right, then, give us a number. No. Huh? Oh, no. Just figured I could use it in a pinch. What? The hell kind of pinch you have in mind? Coming here was never all that straightforward. Force a pattern. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, because every time he comes back to the Tojo clan, people fight him. Every time. 
<laughs> Danger around every corner. Guess you still got curious on. Hmm. Was hmm. that compliment? No, he just has that personality where every time he comes here, he tends to get into a battle. Excuse me. Kiryu-san, he used to be te chairman of Tojo Clan, right? Just for a short while. I quit pretty soon after. Short term in office? Huh? Any reason? I mean, if we're talking the Yakuza chairman of Tojo Clan, it's like the cream de la cream of promotions, right? Ha ho! <laughs> Actually, yeah, I've wondered about that, too. Right. Oh, sure. I guess when I was younger, I did dream of a rich, well-off life. But then, well, I found something much more important than that. As to whether or not I made the right choice, that's hard to say. Oh, you think you regret it? I don't know. Excuse me. You know, even if the past is weighing you down, you always got today. Just have to tell yourself that the clouds you made along the way were the right ones. Is that clouds or choices? I am not reading well today, am I? Oh, John. Besides, there's no guarantee what's happening now as a result of that. Seriously. And hey, if you ever need an ear, I'm here, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I even helped set up Ichiban's first date. Friendly advice is my specialty. Wouldn't that prove the opposite? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. When the time comes, I'll consider it. Um, yeah, so... Kiryu kinda helped doom the Tojo. He put a very, very bad person in charge of the Tojo clan and backstabbing everybody. Not knowing, of course, but yeah. It didn't help. Huh. That, that's one fancy painting. You know anything about this one, Kiryu-san? No. No, couldn't tell you. Oh, wow! It's a famous piece by Motard von Egmont from Germany. Supposedly, he was influenced by Rembrandt, though he typically only painted landscapes in his lifetime. Huh? Huh? Sancha, you some kind of art critic or something? Eh, customers will talk about pretty much anything, you know. <laughs> Helps to be well-rounded in my line of work. I see. Well, it's impressive either way. So, I take it there's going to be a little bits of tid, you know, chatting here. Let's look around, because I got a feeling when we, when we go in here, a lot of things are going to break down, which the last time we were in there, Daigo was in charge. And I believe this is his, yeah. This is, this the meeting room? No. No, not here. Just taking a minute, minute just taking a minute to reminisce. Excuse me. Special memories or something? Actually. I want you to jump through the glass over there. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have asked. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. What's up this bookshelf? Who's to say? Maybe they're trying to look smart. Well, if that's the case. Shouldn't they get rid of that? Yes. Agreed. Well, only one place to go now. We're here. Hmm. Ebena, huh? You know, last time we spoke, I thought maybe we could actually trust it's him. It's you. The situation called for it. Just don't let your guard okay. down. Right. Yeah, he wanted us to think he was trustworthy. Doesn't mean he is. Same with Sawashiro. Now I'm skeptical about what their things are, which I was at the beginning. <laughs> well, now. Maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. Shut your mouth. If I needed you around, I'd have said so. <laughs> the Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. We took it upon ourselves to restore it. I take it you're Ebina? I am. 
And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? Yeah. Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. <laughs> you're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. Oh yeah, we never told him that Sarshiro actually didn't kill the Seryu clan and chairman, did we? No, we didn't. Oh, so he wouldn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on, take a seat. That guy's pushing his buttons on purpose. He wants a reaction. Kiryu-san? I can only hope you're willing to talk. But maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Excuse you? <sighs> that chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan, and no one else. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense. But you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! Do you... It's all right, Narasaki. Oof. <sighs> Captain. This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. Let's try this again. <laughs> Please, make yourself comfortable. Now then, shall we get started, Kiryu-san? Yes, what's going on? I see the Seiryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is... Far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? Sunhi here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Business partner? Not sure if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. Oh. Oh. I have an idea. Maybe the the guy who runs the cult, he hired them to find the girl and dispose of it like they dispose of every other thing, maybe. However, I can't take any credit for that idea. Someone else had thought it up, and they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. Never mind. That would be Pale Kana, a uh -oh. local religious group. Yep. What? Pale Kana? They're also the ones who helped Akane-san escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Akane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. Oh, that's the you island. Must be Nele from... Island. Yeah. Is that where Palakana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society. <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. 
So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nelly Island? Oh, you dumb fool. He's brainwashing the Yakuza. You're sending him puppets and you probably don't even know. Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palekana is our top priority. But I thought Nele Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. Yet you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polykana understands this as well. Never guessed religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing. To reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. No, that's probably not true anymore. You are trying to make it so Ichi can find his mother for the Palakana. You are working for him. You do not care about this at the moment, I believe. So, whatever becomes of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seriyu clan. That's a, also a false statement, I believe. Sawashiro, are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? What do you mean? She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polykana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. Is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew? Hmm. I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So, you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? Well... That said, this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polykana once again. What would you do if Polykana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. As the Tojo Clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you, of all people, understand the weight of a Yakuza's words. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done here. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner. Yeah, let's hope that's possible. I don't know. Are they telling the truth? I don't know. Well, we sure show their asses. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously? And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much out of it. No? But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Palekana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abina really knows what Bryce is up to. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. I suppose. Hmm. By the way, you think of anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, what is it? Well, it might not be the fun activity you were thinking. But I want to pay my respects. To some people who were close to me. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? 
I'd be grateful if you did. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way? Yeah. Let's catch a taxi. Oh. Alright, just double checking. Make sure nothing else appeared. Sorry to drag you all out here. Let's say we head back. You're all done? Yeah. I managed to clean up their gravestones and talk to them a bit about my life. If I can ask, who were these people? Well, they're my family. Of course, none of us are blood related, but it's never been about that. And it doesn't make them any less precious. Every time I come here, I get this strange feeling. I've always been the type to rush in and never think ahead. So I assumed if anyone was gonna die first, it'd be me. Yet here I am now, talking to them, even though they're long gone. Here you, son. I come to pay my respects for the first time in forever, and who do I see? Oh, it's Dante. <laughs> Almost like Kazuma himself had a hand in it. Dante, son. Long time no see. <laughs> Gonna guess your buddies there are safe. Oh, yeah. An acquaintance of yours, Kiryu san? Wait, doesn't this mean your cover's blown? No. He's good. If anyone's aware of anything, it's him. I take it you must be Detective Date? And that would make you Sunhi, the so-called face of Ijincho. <laughs> Never could stay away from trouble, could you? <laughs> I think we'll be heading back, curious son. You look like you got some catching up to do. Appreciate that. Hey, no worries. You fellas enjoy. Sorry, didn't mean to scare off your new pals. But hey, we met last game. We even went to Soraya. You met us. What are the chances? I say we catch up on old times. That is, if you've got time. Sure. Been so long since the two of us have had a sip. I figured it ought to be here. And speaking of a sip, that one's all you get. Meanwhile, I'll be helping myself to the bar. Greedy old drunk. You sure Mama won't mind? <laughs> Just so happens today's her day off. Then I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks. You're getting thin. I admit that caught me off guard. Really? You can tell that easy, huh? Well, yeah. When it comes to studying you, I hold a Guinness World Record. So, uh, is it that bad? Yeah. And when the doctor found out I was running around like this, he nearly burst the vessel. Let me guess. More nonsense from the Daitoji faction. In Hawaii, there was a girl who reminded me of Haruka. Her name's Lani. She's just an innocent kid. Yet here she is, running for her life. All for some asshole's convenience. I can't help but want to save her. Sounds like something you'd say. Always putting your neck out for others, aren't you? 
Well, with the clock ticking, I'm supposed to be enjoying my final moments. At least according to Namba and them. Sure. You've never been the type to look after yourself. Well, there's been a lot on my mind. Now that it's come to this. Looking back, I almost didn't make it. When Nishiki and Yumi died, I thought, if only I could go with them. But what stopped me in the end was actually something you told me. I said something that important? You know damn well you did. Don't you have someone precious to protect? I figured that must be what's pushing me still. <laughs> in that case, you can't clock out just yet. After all, you want to protect that kid, right? Yeah. Then now's the time you get back your gusto. Still free to stick around a while? Come on. How long has it been? I'm sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's the spirit. Going back to Hawaii. Welcome back, Kiryu son. Hey, how much were you drinking? <laughs> Not much. Only had one glass. So, was everything okay with your friend? Yeah. What's more, we agreed to meet up every now and again, like back in the day. Hope that's all right. Of course it is. Just don't go overboard with the booze, okay? Yeah, I know. You sure about that? I don't want to find you passed out somewhere. I see you're not gonna go easy on me. Fine. You have my word. Well, that's that. We should head back to Kasuga's apartment for the day. Well, that was a nice one. Well, I got feeling... Right. I get the feeling something is about to happen. I just don't know what. rest and see what happens, eh? I think from his, you know, conversation with Dante's son, he's gonna probably go back to Hawaii. Because that's just the way Kiryu is. So I feel this might be the last time we come in here for a while. Then he's gonna go, oh, wait, what's that? Oh, sweet, a half-empty drink. Alright. Let's see what happens. Is Kiryu gonna just charge off to Hawaii, or what? Because I got a feeling that's what he is going to do. I have some time today. Maybe I could focus on some things I want to do. Stroll around town wouldn't hurt. Hello? Kiryu, Dante here. Dante-san. I'm in a jean show at the moment. Come out with me. We should talk. Don't try making out like you're too busy. Uh, is this important? That bucket list thing you were telling me about before. I've been mulling it over ever since. Got me thinking I have too much unfinished business myself. Uh, if I can be of some help, I'll come. There we go. See you soon. Where should we meet? Rose Blossom, the cabaret club. I'll tell the bar to expect you. Right, I'll be waiting. Hmm, so now we're gonna do a favor for Dante-san. What unfinished business are you hoping to resolve the cabaret club, Dante-san? Only want to find out. It's Rose Blossom. Am I by myself? No, they are with me. Okay. I'm just looking. Still not strong enough for some of these. All right, well. It's just right. Oh, one just popped up there. Rose Blossom. Girls by. This place Dante san told me about to find him. Rose Blossom. Sacha, do you do events for Christmas and Halloween at your place? Of course. Those are some of our most lucrative nights. 
<laughs> Even the staff likes them because they get to cosplay. Well, they get into it, huh? I guess dressing up like Santa is always fun. Back at Sunflower, I'd have to Give dress up as Santa for the younger kids. I guess that was kind of like cosplay. Oh, I would have loved to see you in a Santa outfit, Kiryu-san. Are there any photos? I remember someone taking pictures, but they're long gone by now. Hmm. Uh. It's me. I've got an operation for you. Mm-hmm. Locate and procure. Sunhi, please don't be calling a Comey Jewel agent. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> there he is. Took you long enough. Much obliged. We've got it from here. Going over to that table. Very good, sir. Please enjoy yourselves. Uh, well, what are we doing here exactly? I appreciate you coming down here, Kiryu. You won't regret it, I think. I'll trust you on that. Whose table was that just now, by the way? Do you two know each other? You were drinking together. Uh, I'd introduce you to the guy, but the Daidoji faction wouldn't be happy with me. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Kid's name is Taichi. The boy you raised at Morning Glory? That Tai Chi. What? Don't start gawking at him. He hasn't clocked you either, it would seem. Ah, oh, the wrestler. Ah. <sighs> hey, don't order another yet. I need a second. Any more and I'll pass out on my way home. It's all right, handsome. I'll watch over you until the morning. Oh, really? You do that? It's not an offer I'd make to just anyone, Tai Chan. But I feel safe with you. <sighs> That's really great. Yokohama girls are the best. To be fair, he's of legal drinking age. Back in Okinawa, he works as a fireman. I can't believe it. That's Tai Chi. What's he doing here? I heard he was visiting a friend in Tokyo, so I rang him up. I offered to take him around Yokohama. Not like I was ever that close to the boy. Couldn't think of any better place to go than here. <laughs> Jinsho women sure can work wonders on men like him. <laughs> Doubt he even noticed I left. What's the meaning of all this, Date-san? He's supposed to think I'm dead. Why would you invite me somewhere he could spot me? Because, if he doesn't realize who he's looking at, there's no problem. Hmm? That's why you and I are keeping our distance. Much as I'd like it, I know you can't speak directly. I still thought seeing him like this would be better than never seeing him at all. <sighs> Date-san. <laughs> You've always been too stubborn to look backward. Tell me, how does it feel? Would dying have been easier without this memory? Don't your kids warrant a spot on your list? <sighs> I, I'd heard about him becoming a firefighter, you know. I, I still keep tabs on all of them, but... I never planned on seeing them again. I couldn't even risk hoping to. Hmm. That's why we're here. This is my unfinished business. You've gone through life telling yourself you have no regrets. It's not true. You just refuse to acknowledge them. And if there's anyone still breathing in this world who could convince you of that, I suppose it's me. Date-san. <sighs> I know. When the Daidoji helped you fabricate your death, I went along with it. And it cost you everything. Haruka and Haruto. A life cut off from the people you love. I replay those events over and over in my head. Wondering if I could have changed the outcome. It was my responsibility. My death was the only thing that could have ensured their safety. 
Dante-san, you have nothing to blame yourself for. Either way, that was a long time ago. Maybe now I could make a difference? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Who are they? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, I think a fight's about to break out. I'm gonna fight them, and then he might recognize me. Hey! Why are all the girls hanging out here? Send some to our table. Very sorry, sir. We'll address this at once. You'd better. We're paying customers too, ain't we? <laughs> I apologize, everyone. I didn't know I'd be so popular in here. That's because Taichan is the cutest. I won't drink with anyone else. You mean it? Piss off, you dumb fucking tourist. You really think you're hot shit? Damn it. I might have tipped those girls too well. I wanted Tai Chi to have a good time, you know. <laughs> this is dangerous. Everyone's too drunk. Hey, you're being very impolite, aren't you? Calm down and someone will join you soon. Excuse me? I don't take lip from working girls. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what the hell? You can't do that. Never hit a woman. Hey, don't be a fool. As long as Tai Chi's there, you can't intervene. <sighs> All night's ruined now. I'm gonna discipline this chick. No! Huh? Oh. That's enough. You make me sick. The hell? Daijun! You, you're dead, punk! Uh you wanna discipline her, huh? Learn some discipline yourself. Huh. Well, I'll be. Who would have thought Tai Chi had it in? He's full of surprises. Not so fucking fast! Ugh. Hey, shit dick! Nobody likes a guy who hogs the tits! Ah, oh, Titan, are you okay? Please get up, please! <sighs> Excuse me, that's quite enough. Leave it once or I'll call the police. Shut your mouth! This is your fault, scumbag! Yep. This ends right now. Or I'll pay you back for Tai Chi ten times over. Uh, uh, Uncle... Is it really you, Uncle Koss? Uncle... Uh... Hands off of me! Everybody has a death wish tonight. Whole world's been shitting on me! Now? I'm gonna shit on all of you! Mm. Okay. I'm ready. Alright, follow my lead. I'm gonna ruin all your day. I'm not Nothing first. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Each of my turns, I shall electrocute them. Alright, let's give them a bath. <laughs> Hope you're ready. Hmm. Something wrong? Check this out. Let's bring his defense down. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, oh that okay, that enough. works. Actually, oh wait, hold still, hold still, hold still, please. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Ready for the knockout. Yeah. Oh, I won't hold that. All right. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good job. Now. There we go. Oh, all the damn luck. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Will it be all right? Hmm? Oh, um, well, sleeping like a baby. He's more drunk than he is hurt. Maybe we overdid it a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Sir? He's gonna make a great firefighter. Boy's in good shape. Hell, he's a grown man. <sighs> Tai Chi's gonna wake up before too long. You should leave. We'll catch up. 
I'll stay behind and try to clean up this mess. Thanks. Uncle Gus! Hey, rise and shine, kid. What a night. Oh, um, I'm real sorry. I, uh, I remember there was a fight. Somebody came and defended me. Somebody? <laughs> you mean was Kiryu here? Huh? Joking. You were calling out for him, Tai Chi. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz, you said. Uh, really? Weird. I guess I was dreaming. The good news is you held your own. Protecting that girl of yours. Huh. Not every man is the sort who'd do that, you know. Even if they wanted to. Actually, that's my trick when I need to be brave. I think about what Uncle Kiryu would do. When I remember the way he was, it's like... I can shut down any fear inside me. You don't say. That's a pretty clever technique. Should give it a try myself. Yeah, sure. It always works for me. This place good? Kanagawa PD contact recommended it to me. Order one drink, sit as long as you like. From now on, consider this my Eugene Show hideout. Hmm. So you mean... Think I'll stay around town for a bit. You know, stay on top of that bucket list of yours. Taiji's little night out was only the start of it. I've got calls going out all over Yokohama. Stop. You realize that if the Daidoji faction catches on, we'll both pay. <laughs> they haven't objected yet, have they? Not even Taichi knows you're still out there. Trust me, the fearsome Daidoji faction has nothing to worry about. You're testing them. Look, I realize I'm taking a risk here. But when it comes to your final days, I don't care. Nothing you say is going to stop me. If Daidoji has a problem, they know where I am. <laughs> so then, Tai Chi stir anything in you? Do you regret what happened tonight? Because I saw your face just before you left. The way you looked at that proud young man. You have ties to this world. They don't disappear when you turn your back. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dragons don't have the luxury of dying forgotten. Tai Chi remembers you. People remember you. Kazumu Kiryu never walked the easiest path, but the steps he took always bore fruit. You have the responsibility to reap the harvest you've sown. I've never been more certain. I'll call you again. Kasuga and all that is important, but take some time for yourself, too. Date-san. Thank you. I don't have the words. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, Taichi and the others. I thought maybe I'd been able to let go, that even if I never saw them again, I'd be fine. But when I heard his voice with my own ears, when he was right there in front of me, who knew I'd be so happy? I certainly didn't. That's more than you need to say. Now, I've got quite some work to do. You look good, man, Date-san. Oh, that's number one. The bucket list. As Kiryu raises his awakening level, he will trigger, trigger life links with Date and his old friends. Life links can be initiated by speaking to Date at the Harbor Light. Harbor Light in the Jinjo's Bar District after Kiri receives a phone call. Awaken the dragon within. See things through to the end. Oh. I wish I could do that. I really do. Sorry for the wait. Oh good. So do you get that get to chat with your friend? Yeah. Our talk made me realize something important, actually. Oh yeah. Great glad to hear. Anyway, where to next? Huh? 
Cosmic Curie, the legend, legendary dragon, the think you return. Restaurant row, I'll be expecting you. Come alone. Who's messaged me? Something the matter? Or somewhere I need to be. Am I tagging along? Of course not. Let's get move. Yep, gonna move on then. Can't say I'm not curious. Restaurant row, huh? Maybe I should drop by. I'm ready to kick ass. Alright. Take a quick break, I'll be back in this video momentarily. Alright, sorry about that. I'm back. And by the way, it's definitely not a day later or more. <laughs> Would never ever be like that. Never. Oh, but man, you gotta move. Okay. So I actually want to do those links with uh, Dante song. If I'm able to, of course. Right now, that is saying, hey, go here to do stuff. Uh, I have no idea what I want to do. Now, let me just open this again. Oh, right, restaurant row person. I can't do those. I can't do those. I mean, I guess that's the only thing I can do. I could also change my classes. They're all at level... Hey, I'm gonna wait until they're 20. Oh, wait. Lifelinks. dante son asked me to come by the cabaret club. When I got there, I saw an old face. Taichi. A boy I once spent a lot of time with at Morning Glory Orphanage. This must, this must be dante sons way of helping me complete my bucket list. And it seems he's gonna keep having me meet my old acquaintances. Oh... And they unlock it 10 and 12, so that's the only one I could do right now. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, we can't do that anymore. I actually really like that. If you play the last games, which... If I remember correctly, I played 1... Uh, sorry, 0, 1, and 2... And I honestly don't really remember uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I'm one of those people I know. But it's really nice that, in a way, the people from the orphanage he has raised are coming to play here. Oh no. Let's do it now, but... Right. It's time. Uh oh. Here we go. Let's do it. Hey, buddy. Um, do you like the Iron Maiden? Well, no matter what, he's gone. Yeah, when we get to level 20, I'll swap classes. Get a little variety. First, let's go to Restaurant Row. Is it gonna be Zhao? Because Zhao used to run Restaurant Row. Even though he doesn't run it anymore. Alright, you, you really wanna go? Let's do this. You guys used to be perfect. Now you're just. Oh. Something wrong? In for the kill! Um, I'm gonna do Master Nothing Punch first. first. I do with the oh yeah, I will do it here. I love you guys. Oh it's defense that works. Ow. Wait for it. Damn it to her late. Late, late, late. I'm happy how that Follow went. My lead. 
All right, now you smash the Matilda. It's my turn. The Iron Matriarch. Need a little speed. Right. Just do that. That sucks. Want some? Watch this. Hope this hurts. Uh oh. Give you some nasty ass. Yeah. Nothing personal. Behold, breathe it in. Let's do it. In for the kill. Damn. He's almost dead. He'll die when he comes back out from hiding. Here we go. You know what? I think it's time. I'm gonna do it. Ready when you are. I gotta use tag team moves now. No, I do not use them much. I'll actually just finish him. But yeah, I need to use the tag team moves more. I know that. And he's dead. I expected that. Ready for the knockout. Follow my lead. It's my turn. Guys are just going right now. I won't hold back. Gotta go this way. He's down. Let's do it. I'm gonna just do this. Medium volume. Hope this hurts. Damn it, he's just one hit away. Follow my lead. Oh, goodbye. That's pretty bold of you. Doing better than I thought. I just got a new helmet. And everyone yeah. is level 20. We should relish this moment. Well, I didn't say at level 20, but one second, I got a new helmet. Oh, man, I got more. Yeah! Oh, let me see, who has the lowest defense? Uh, really? I'm above all people. I'm, I'm not shocked, but do I have any of this? No, I got Madam's fur. Any shoes? No. Right now, let me check the females, because they have different ones. No. And no. Alright, just double checking. Oh, whoops. I went one too many. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Ooh, yellow camouflage for the streets. Or, oh, whoa, 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 go back, go back, go back. Okay. I'm gonna eat at the diner first, because I have no idea what I'm about to walk into. I'd rather have health. I'm trying to think who would know me. 
I extremely doubt it's the name that's coming to mind because he's an end game person. There's absolutely no way they'd bring him. Unless they do, then I guess so. And this. Alright, good. Thanks for buying. That was great. Tasty. So, in the Yakuza games, there's always a final secret boss named Amon who shows up and you be all the side quests. I extremely doubt it's him, but he knows Kiryu. There's multiple Amons. Also, in Like Dragon 1, this is the black uh, market shop that you can buy keys and stuff at that you unlock by doing the Demolitioner job. Which I know isn't in this game, which is a shame, but uh, I didn't use much anyways. Is it still here? The black market shop? No, it's empty now. They moved out. Alright. Is there anyone here? No. The only person I can think of is it might be okay. Zhao. Okay. Or, or, hey. I've got something to take care of real quick. Mind waiting for me? No problem. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own though? Also tag along? <laughs> it's fine. I'll be back before you know it. You better. Hmm. I wonder what's up with him. Who knows? I have no idea either. I, I'm curious who this could be. It's someone from his past. Or else they wouldn't know who he is. Majima? Maybe? Is Zhao or Majima? That message said they'd be waiting here. Oh no, it's a moan! No! <laughs> wait, wait, what? That voice. Is that the trainer from Yakuza Zero? It's been a while, Cosma Kiryu. Nope, it's not. Absolutely not. Oh, there's a moan. Wait, a moan? Not the person I wanted to run into, but I had a feeling it was you. The Moan clan believes they're the strongest in the world. And is made up of skilled fighters. We've clashed countless times, long as I can remember. They kept hounding me to fight, saying that me being the legendary dragon hindered their claim clan's claim to strength. You haven't forgot us, have you? How could I? When you're this persistent. How'd you guys know I was back? After retirement, we targeted Ichiban Kazuga, who had been making a name for himself as the new dragon in town. But while we were keeping tabs on him and his flunkies, you show up right out in the air. Surprisingly, really. To think the dragon would resurge. Couldn't keep yourself away. Could Not you? quite. I didn't return because I wanted to. Not that it's any of your business. Why, of course it is. In the past, you insulted the Among Clan, clan time after time. The fact remains that you are but a thorn in our side. And if you tend to make a comeback, we won't let that slide. Besides, having you roam the streets in your weakened state, guarded by your allies, only tarnishes our reputation. <laughs> Feels like you're talking to a wall, just like old times. Kiryu-san! Kiryu-san! Didn't I, didn't I tell you to wait? Sorry, we were worried about you. Who's he? This guy picking a fight with you, Kiryu-san? No need for Kiryu to bother with him. If he really wants a beating so badly, he'll have to go through all of us. So these are your little friends. How weak you become, Cosmo Kiryu. You want to shoulder everything on yourself, all alone. To think you have allies looking after you now. You think strength means not relying on others? Well, putting your trust in someone else takes real courage. Quit shoving your ideology down other people's throats. Keep your mouth shut about Cosmic Kiryu, and I'll sh oh, keep running your mouth about Cosmic Kiryu, and I'll show you no mercy. Interesting. Let's see how far the mighty dragon has fallen. Oh, this is not going to be a good battle. Bring it on. Oh, I was not expecting this fight. Yes. Oh. oh no. What's the hold up? Um. Ooh. So 
んだいや、ノースズグッティム。I just know a month is next and Kiri is about to die. One second. This might be an unwinnable battle, I'm not going to lie. You know what? Kiri, you have some sushi. Here. Thanks. Damn it. You want some? Oh, currently, uh, they're on sale. You're gonna get stolen on sale. Alright, now the problem here is I'm just gonna do this. I don't. Oh, he resists. He resists. Uh, Mask of Fertility. <laughs> I don't think I'm winning this. Oh, absolutely not winning this. Follow my lead. Uh, <laughs> hey, Among. Right there. I'm on the wall. Okay, Let's yeah, go. I'm not even gonna bother healing. This is not happening. I'm not even gonna bother talking. Just finish it. Goodbye. That was an unwinnable battle. One damage, basically one hit kills everybody. Yeah, no. The theme, his battle theme is really nice, though. Here we Cosmo Kiryu. Too weak, both physically and mentally. Is this all you can do? I told you, I'm not the same man I was before. What a bore. Here, how about this? Say I kill one of your precious comrades. Would that awaken your old son? What'd you say? What? Our clan's line of work is assassination, you know. It'll be easy for me to sac- It's easy for me to sacrifice as many lives it takes to revive the legendary dragon. Oh, no. Don't you dare lay a hand on them. <laughs> huh. Looks like you have some fight left in you. It's time you take this seriously for your ally's sake. I guess some things never change. Now, show me your true strength. Show me what these bonds of yours are made of. You better, if you want to protect your friends. I'm on. I'm curious, is it cutscene or actual? Hope you're ready to stop. Bring it on. Oh, that wasn't the voice I expected. Dragon's Resurgence. When his height meter is full, Kiryu can now use Dragon's Resurgence, a powerful attack that allows him to move freely on the battlefield. Hold right trigger to activate, then use the B, X, Y to attack until the time. Oh, wait, we're going back to old Yakuza battles? It's over. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a bit of flea fl Follow my lead. Oh. I'm to put you down. <laughs> Oh, 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 man. We can go back to old Yakuza. Learning more every day. That's actually really cool. Doing better than I thought. Okay. Kiryu has more oomph in him still. I won't let you hurt them. <laughs> that hit just now. Felt like the ones from the past. Left a mark too, no doubt about it. it. Looks like that bond you share with your allies is what gives you strength now. You still raring to go? No, I'll leave you be for now. If you were just a geezer on decline, I would have just killed you here and now. But you still got some growing to do with this bond you and your allies have or whatever. Call it what you will. 
should you develop your bonds and grow even stronger. I'll return to fight you once more. I'll be going to take you down. Not some illness. And I'm sure... And I'm sure I'm not alone in that sentiment. Don't you dare forget that. The strength of our bonds, huh? Cur <clears throat> Curious on. Are you okay? Right. Yeah. You guys, we're fine. Somehow. That was a tough fight. Sorry for dragging you guys into this mess. All good. We're used to getting mixed up in this stuff. Not like I always... It wasn't any of our business anyways. Huh? They mess with our friend. They mess with us. Sorry. Text message. Right. And Kiryu trying to rely on friends. Every time he does Thanks. in the past, they always die around him. It shows that he's really... He knows he needs them, and he's accepting. Thanks. All right, then. That takes care of that. Come on, let's get going. So now we can go back to old Yakuza style for a bit, and Kiri just does a buttload of damage. <laughs> Seems I got some tough friends. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying he needs them, but he's learning to rely on people rather than shouldering everything himself, because he's always afraid of hurting and letting other people die for him. It happened so many times in the past for him. Too many times. Well, I made it through that thanks to all of them. Still not sure what's waiting for us though. Before I head back to Kazuka's place, maybe I should buy some. Oh! I don't like that! Yeah! No! Ooh! Ooh! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Mmm, that is the game telling me what something about here? to happen. A Chinese pup. Ugh, good old Lin. Actually, Sachan went undercover there. Nearly got her armpits licked, and then... Not another word. Sorry you had experienced that. <laughs> Aside from that fiasco, the pup itself was great. That right. Maybe it's worth checking out. You out on this one, Sachan? Uh... If everyone's going, I'll go. Out anyone I know is still there. Besides, I'm sure the current staff isn't connected to their sordid past. All right. Let's go have a drink there sometime. Yeah, basically in the last game she had to go undercover and one of the freaks who worked for Lao Ma that we're trying to get in with tried to lick her armpit. Yeah. Um, it's this one, right? And we still need a little bit more, so I'll give... Not that. There we go. I'm trying to make everyone full here. Because I just got a warning that stuff is yeah, about to go to drink. Alright, um, I don't think I should change my classes, honestly. I'm going to the blacksmith shop. We got some money, and I think we got enough resources to do something. Uh, then I'm gonna go to... Let me go to Hello Work and see if there's any jobs I want. I think I'm going to change Namba back to Chef. Not Chef, sorry. Host. Or even I'll make Kiryu Host. Because Host at least has a few things that maybe will be useful for him. I have to I have to see. Oh no, is this an infinite load screen? If so, yay. If it takes another second, I'll just pause the recording. Because we don't need to see an infinite loading screen. All right, it's an infinite loading screen. I'll pause it. I'll see you in a second. Infinite loading screen is over. Hurrah! All right, let's see what jobs. I might let her go tennis ace. All right. How are you meant to choose? Kario, you need to become something. I'm going to make you the dragon of Dojima. I can make him hero. Honestly, the hero outfit looks a lot better than like a dragon. I'm not going to lie. Nah, that. we'll just do that. Maybe it's time I change styles. Nah, I don't know about this. Maybe I should make you Pyro Dancer. It'd suit you. I actually really like Pattern A. Hot stuff! Eh, whatever works. Alright. Nah, well, don't know actually, this. if something bad's about to happen, host. 
could be a whole new me. Just find something for Zen. An important decision. Yeah, she can't be idle until Bond 50. And I'm probably going to idle, but luckily I can... I'm going to make you probably tennis ace. I'm not leaving until it's perfect. First impressions are key. Ooh, that's a great outfit. Ooh. No. Oh, oh man. What's the verdict? Yeah, it looks great. Hmm, what's in this season? Oh, I forgot skill inheritance, please. All right, we can do another one. I'm. Gloria waits is great. Okay. Cooler shower. Oh. And boosting, no. Pyro Dancer. Um, I can do you. I want elemental things just so I can combo people. Stash Bottle is great. That is great. Uh, Pigeon Storm's decent. Chef. Oh man, well done's decent. Peppermint Blow. Uh, he has a heal Stash Bottle. Alright, I'm gonna go Chef Peppermill Blow. He has a grapple now. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, we're good there. Song Hui. Okay, let's see. What do I want with you? Alright, for one, we want you to have a grapple. Alright, so this to kill is a grapple for Assassin. Night Queen has a lot of grapples. Whip service. Housekeeper. I want bubble. Yeah, bubble bath is gonna come. I think I'm gonna replace this with. Actually, no. I'm gonna replace this though with that. Psycho, immediately. You're getting magical song. You're getting love. No, not yet. You and then love drunk. Alright, let me mess with gear. I don't think there's anything for him. No, I thought so. All right, um, give you a nice health ring for now. I'll figure out what to give you after. You got some prestige, we're gonna give you a fancy business card, we're gonna give you champion's grip, and she has a vintage rocket. I wish I had better knives for you, but I don't. Yeah, we're lazy. Go, 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 go. Yeah, when they give you that warning of, hey, I'm gonna do something before you go back to sleep. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna take that warning. I really am. All right, let's see if there's anything I can make for certain classes. And this ace, I think, is good for now. Hello, ma'am. Oh, I think we got all the classes now, finally. Now, let's see. Can't make, can't make, can't make, can't make, can't make, can't make, can't, 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 can't. I have to go back to Hawaii sometime. I can't make anything. Alright, what classes are we currently playing? Tennis Ace, Vintage Racket. Uh, let me take some of that away. I don't want to use too much. There we go. Uh, do I want to upgrade that to 10? It goes up by 10 more power. I'm thinking. Um, wait, I'm gonna hold off for that. Okay, um, okay, we're using these, which has electric damage, which boosts crit. I'm going to upgrade the strength of this weapon because these weapons suck. I'm gonna get the 15. That should be enough. Oh, whoops. Okay, now she's doing better damage. I'm gonna brand it. Let's see, what do we want? Boost electric damage it is an electric weapon. We might do that. 
Uh, boost crit. Ooh. Boost just boost. Mmm. Oh. Oh, they got some new ones. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Post. Namba is using prestige, which, uh... Increase damage to higher drunkenness. Okay. Yeah, I hate to say I won't be able to get your prestige up. It's where it needs to be. That's all I say. Um, okay, tennis ace. Hers can use work. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. Alright, now we're gonna brand it. But what are we gonna put on it? Boost crit hit rate for status ailments? No. Damage for crits? Mm. And crew? No. Magic skills can critically hit. That'd be great for Namba. Boost? No, not, no, no. It, that could be okay. That could be okay. That could be uh, increased rate of debuffs and increased success rate of inflicting restricted status ailments, damaging, silencing, rage, blind fear, blah 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 blah. blah. Boost damage of gun. Uh, does racket count with gun? All right, I'm just gonna do boost crit damage. <laughs> Alright, her weapon's ready. Now, give me a second. I need to. How much is it? Oh, jeez, it's not even a full one. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Sorry, Namba. Okay, investment. No. There are some shops still nearby. Alright. Mm, I have some money. Alright, let me check our gear. I have... I'm all above four. You're above four, except your shoes are surfing shoes. They suck. Bonnie's leather shoes. Well, dang, yeah. I'm joking. Do I have a better bracelet? No, not yet. Uh, she's all good. Vintage Rocket, all set to go. Champion's Grip. And she's happy. She has delay. But I'm thinking of taking the Lucky Money Charm off and putting it on her currently. We're gonna ignore that. Okay. It's just the Plasma Knife, which is her drawback there. Alright, before we jump into that battle, I'm gonna need a slight bit of XP. I'm then going to eat at a place and get buffs. Oh, sorry, let me run in you. And then probably after whatever's about to happen, I'm gonna call it there. Two hundred thousand. Let's do it. Birds seven. Let's beat him down. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> Try to block this. <laughs> Try and stop. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> Follow my lead. Time to take out the crash. Now it's 
We should relish this moment. Noisy rocket. <laughs> Illusionary strike. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We're going there. We'll eat here. Best place. Cause it's right there. See what happens. I have healing items. Yeah, I got quite a few. What do you offer me? Is it what is it magic? Yeah, I thought it was magic. Okay. I gotta be careful with the drinks. I don't want to be drunk. So we're gonna do you and you. No, not you. You. Yeah, you. And then because I wanna boost it one more time, you nope. You and you? No. You? Yes. Oh man, I love me some takoyaki. Time to dig in. Are you all right? Hold your horses, Nanchan. <sighs> all I could think about was eating the takoyaki. I totally forgot that it's piping hot. <sighs> the takoyaki from this place is so well cooked. That the insides retain their heat, even when the outside cools off a little. That's how you know it's the best. Ugh, I just love the crispy outside paired with the tender filling. Ah, yeah. I always do. Uh, <laughs> maybe swallow first? <laughs> My bad. I got carried away. But you know, it really feels like a slice of heaven to just down a highball after scarfing down some great takoyaki. Yeah, they really elevate each other. I get how you could lose yourself in it, Namba. And takoyaki goes well with almost any topping. Oh, I want to try them all. Got any recommendations, Sunhi? Hi. Hi, I totally call it cheese. Cheese and treats are a perfect match. Oh, jeez. Not you, too. Oh, now Sean's ready for a... Thanks for buying. That was great. Oh, everyone wants to do it. Well, guess what? We're not doing your links. We're going right... Well, actually... Bonds... Oh, yeah, no, they're ready for level 5. Which, I'm not sure what happens at level 5, but they're ready for level 5. Hmm... The thing is that the level 5 ones might last forever, and as much as we want to do it, we're just going to go. Even though level 5 probably gives you some really good abilities. But, we'll live. Alright. We're halfway drunk, we're not drunk drunk, and on top of that, drunkenness increases Namba's damage. Oof. Fine. It's me. Got it. I'll be right over. Something came up. I'll have to return to the Golden Jewel. Will you be alright? Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm tired anyhow. So I'm gonna take a break.
and let's call it a day. We'll meet up here again later. Roger that. Feeling a little worn. It's no surprise, all things considered. I should get some rest. And then the place caught fire. He was shot, stabbed, and then he walked it off. Which he has been stabbed and shot and walked it off. Good evening already. Was that out that long? That's not a good phone call. Yeah, it's probably not going to be good news. Hello? Hear you, son. It's Son He. Sorry to bring bad news, but it looks like the Seiryu clan set us up. What do you mean? Here, check the video I sent you. Oh, it was no. posted just now by Tatara, one of the more popular it. VTubers. Back. VTuber? Eh, they're annoying little things, just don't worry about it. Oh no, I'm gonna cringe. Yep, I'm dying on the inside now. I basically want to throw my headphones off. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils this media's just too scared to touch. The title for today's episode is... A Super Big Shot Yakuza Long Thought Dead Suddenly Returns from the Grave? First off, let's take a good look at this photo. In it is Kazuma Kiryu, legendary Yakuza to some, hardened criminal to others. Why Known as the game? Dragon of Dojima and Kamurocho, he was also the chairman of the Tojo clan, the largest Yakuza group in the Kanto area. Seven years ago, in Hiroshima, Kiryu-san was shot to death as a result of gang-related activities. Or so we were led to believe. This video here recorded in Hawaii is no more than a few days old. And if we zoom in to get a closer look... My, my! He looks a lot like Kazuma Kiryu, doesn't he? I mean, they're practically twins! Now, let's continue the footage, shall we? Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? You hear that? The other guy just called him Kiryu-san, didn't he? Does that not blow your mind, people? The dragon is back from the dead! Oh, and we're not done just yet. This footage hides yet another juicy surprise. Did you happen to catch it? Right here. Do you all remember him? Long time no see, Kasuga. It's Ichiban Kasuga, whose cover we blew on this channel before. Yokohama's oh, so-called hero. Up, bitch. So a long-lost legend is really alive and kicking. Plus, he's pals with Ichiban Kasuga? Okay, what is really going on here? To help shed light on that, I've invited some very special guests for this occasion. You'll be meeting the Underworld's top dogs, currently leading the most powerful Yakuza organization in Japan. Here we go! These gentlemen are in charge of a group called the Seiryu Clan. Thank you both for joining us today. Let's get right to it. You've seen the footage of Kazuma Kiryu yourselves, why does a very focal point of the story have to revolve around this? I don't care if you like VTubers, but I absolutely don't like them at all. No. <sighs> what do you think? That's him. Without a shadow of a doubt. Wow, shocker. They said As so. a matter of fact, he paid a little visit to our office here only yesterday. Which goes to show the man never died. It was an act. That, in turn, leads me to believe law enforcement might have had a hand in this charade. <gasps> You're saying the police helped Kiryu fake his death? How is that even possible? Kazuma Kiryu- How can two big, tough Yakuza who have murdered people- Well, Sora Shiro, I'm not sure about this guy. Can talk to this stupid anime avatar on the screen and keep a straight face. Ugh. Kiryu was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, and despite their rivalry, he was also quite close with Chairman Watase of the Omi Alliance. Naturally, he would have had a wide range of support from Japan's underground, being in it all those years. And that's to say nothing of the late Minoru Daidoji, whose cabal still straddles the political and finance sectors. If even one of those groups were to put pressure on the police, well, 
I'm sure you can imagine they comply. But let's move on. Take a look at this footage from yesterday. Kazuma Kiryu again! And sitting across from him... Is that...? Yes, that would be the two of us. Can you elaborate on what's going on here? Kazuma Kiryu, as you clearly saw in the Hawaii footage, is likely the one pulling Ichiban Kasuga's strings. Now why, after spending so long in hiding, would he suddenly emerge like this? I can only think of one plausible reason. The resurrection of the Tojo clan. He came here just as we'd finished refurbishing the old Tojo clan headquarters, stating he'll use any means to reclaim it. Need proof? The video here should be more than enough to convince you. Wow, I'm glad you're both safe. What a menace Kiryu is. How can he just be allowed to walk free? Well, he's been officially pronounced dead. It's why the police can't touch him. Still, in an effort to make a difference, we brought this to your attention in hopes that it would help. Oh, now it's all starting to come together. Thank you so much for this information. Well, everyone, Tatara Channel's on it. And we'll chase Kazuma Kiryu to the ends of the Earth. Fear not. This state-protected, privileged class of Yakuza can't run forever. The truth will always win out. Above all, the Tojo clan must not be resurrected. Let's make sure to put a stop to it. That's all for today. And if you spot Kazuma Kiryu, drop me a line. Mm. Please, can we end it? Just end it, thank you. I got a feeling there, that pers that character is going to play an important role in the story. And I got a feeling, if I had a guess, it's going to be some fat Japanese guy with a voice modulator. Kiryu san, we got trouble on the internet. It's the damn Tatara again. Oh, he is not happy. I guess you already know. Son, he just finished telling me. Oh. You gonna be all right? Now that your name and face are broadcast out in the open? Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see how Hanawa responds. But either way, I don't have long to live. In that sense, it's not a big deal. Wow, he blew don't it off. Don't say that, Kiryu san. You know, maybe I ought to give Ebina and Sawashiro a word of thanks, and then some. Seriously? I, for one, want to know what the hell they were thinking. And what was their goal in all this? Could be you got under their skin yesterday. No, they planned on revealing you all along. That's why they had a secret camera in that room recording you. That's why he wanted to record you saying you don't belong to sit in that chair. He was hoping you acted like that. They, they set you guys up. What the end goal is, uh, take the eyes off the Siryu clan and look at you, thinking you want to bring back the Tojo? And this was how they retaliated. Hey, didn't Tatara spread rumors about Ichiban too? Yeah, she ruined everyone's lives. Something like, former Yakuza makes a killing by forcing other ex-criminals to steal? He was only doing his job, but the video spun it completely out of context. Right. That channel's known for trying to expose the evil the media's too afraid to touch. And actually, their scoops are mostly legitimate. But why does their information get twisted when the spotlight's on Ichiban and Kiryu-san? Because the person supplying the information is twisting it themselves. Which, the person supplying the information is the one following us around recording things. Except the one in the chairman's office that was by those guys in the Seryu clan. The other ones, they're following Kazuga, I believe. I don't know who the person is, but yes. Hey, if I knew, I'd tell you. Not only that- They're probably a person now I think about from the past that has a gr- uh... No. Wait, he's, they said he was in jail though, but maybe he got out early, even though he killed him? The, the guy from, oh my god, wait, give me a second, I'll tab out, oh, I'm pausing here, one second, it hit me, the name, what's his name, oh, like a dragon guy who ran for governor not not him the younger guy oh god what's his name what's his name mm. 
who was in Bleach Japan. Oh my god, could they, it could, it, okay, hear me out. I have uh, so at the beginning of the game they said he was in jail. I'm gonna say his name in a second. They said he was in jail because he killed the young master. He killed our uh, uh, Masato. He killed uh, Masato at the end of like a dragon. He was in jail. He believed in Bleach Japan so much though. He wanted him to repent for his sins. He stabbed him. He killed him because he wanted to die clean. Oh, if he's out, he could be the one supplying the information because he wants to get back at us for bringing down the whole operation. It could be Kume. Kume could be the idiot coming around supplying the fake information. It's maybe, though. I know he's in jail because of the murder, but he could have gotten out or something, but it might be Kume. At, why is Ebina bothering to lend Tatara a hand? Seems pretty out of place for a Yakuza to go on camera like that. Plus, that footage with Kiryu-san was taken just yesterday. Yet they already had a smear campaign prepped and ready? <sighs> nice catch. You got a good eye, Psycho. Sunny, did you come running all this way? <sighs> the situation called for it. But this isn't about me. I don't have positive proof yet. But there's a good chance Ebina and Tatara were partners for a long time. Is that right? How long are we talking? At least before any of you even knew their names. How can you be so sure? Why else would Ebina and his lackey go on stream with some VTuber who has nothing to do with the Yakuza? Hmm. Anyone in the position to lead the Seiryu clan would never pull a stunt like that. It's too big a risk for one, but as you saw, they did it anyway. So, here's what I think could happen. Ebina might start using Tatara to broadcast any propaganda that suits his needs. And that's to 5 million subscribers, by the way. And I'll even take it a step further and say this. I think Ebina's been Tatara's major source of intel for everything that's happened so far. Makes sense. Wait a minute. Oh, my, yeah, okay. So my brain fart with Kume wasn't, yeah, okay. Uh... So, Ebina, a leader in the Yakuza world, is behind the Tatara channel of all things? What makes you think that, Sunny? Ebina's background tells it all. He used to be one of Tokyo PD's top elites. Was he really? And now he's a Yakuza captain. Talk about turning the wrong leaf. What would make him do that? I don't know the particulars. There wasn't any scandal I could trace it to. But with history like that, I'm sure he's got a wealth of stories the media's never seen or heard. Isn't that a fair bit of assumption, though? Sure, but it's not like it's unfounded. <sighs> oh, you know what? This involves Ichiban directly. Right after Tatara effectively canceled him, Sawashiro goes and sends him to Hawaii. Yeah, that makes sense. Meaning... Well, I just wonder... Had Ichiban been able to keep giving work to ex Yakuza, would he still have said yes to go in there? So then, Sawashiro wanted Kasuga in Hawaii for his own ends. And for that to happen, Tatara made it so he had to leave his job. I love how I spent a good two minutes explaining why I think uh, Kume might be the one going around to record us because he had a grudge against us for ruining the Bleach Japan stuff. And then it's like, no, yeah, they explain that's clearly this guy. <laughs> but that's the great thing about doing a blind, bloody playthrough of a game that you have no, no idea what's going to happen. You just put things together, and sometimes some hit, sometimes some miss, and sometimes some are out of the realm of possibilities that you are just crazy and need to see a therapist. Just how it goes. The timing was too convenient. Exactly. So what I'm saying is... It's possible Sawashiro's been stringing Ichiban along. And if that's true, it's not a stretch to say they know more than they let on about Polycon. Oh, they do. So, if everything was orchestrated by Ebina and Sawashiro, what would be their next move? Good question. I guess that's the part we're all stumped on. Should we go have another chat? I would love to, but the situation's changed. One false step, and we'll be staring down every last member of the Seiryu clan. Yeah, I think at the moment it's, uh, kill on sight. 
but remember earlier, uh, Kiryu was looking at that vase. And he's like, we fight through here. I'm using that vase. After putting footage like that out there, they're obviously ready for a fight. And if Kiryu-san isn't his usual self, we shouldn't pick a fight we can't win. As much as I hate to admit it, I think you might be right. Okay, then why don't we do this? What? Now that the Serio clan opened a branch office, there shouldn't be as many of them back at Ijincho. So, we should hit their HQ first. Figure we might be able to get who's in charge to talk. Nanva, that's... actually not such a bad idea. Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right, we're going through the Serio clan HQ for a third time. Now, the question is, if I go down these stairs, are there going to be those stupid influencer kids? Because last time, Ichiban was shown by the VTuber thing. Uh, he was... Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, no harassment. Okay. Give me a second. I forget what weapons you have. Anything good? Kitty cat ears. No, 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 no. Ooh. Ah. Huh. That's a little expensive for my taste. Arigato. Arigato. Man, you want some rain? Like, no, I'm not dealing with you. We're going here. Which. Yeah. Here we are, Kiryu san. Serio clan headquarters. Behind us, I hear walking. <laughs> there he God, him. he is. Been waiting for you, tough guy. I'm here with Men's Vice Journal. Great. What now? Feast your eyes, bros and bastards. You're taking an exclusive look at the most legendary Yakuza to I ever walk these the guys streets. And smash their phones. Thanks to the Tatara channel, he's the talk of the town once more. Introducing Kazuma Kiryu. Ah, I see what's going on here. They're hyenas lapping up a bigger man's fame. How about you give us an interview, Kiryu-san? Your story's, like, <laughs> incredible. A top dog faking his own death all so he could live in secrecy. How do you feel now that that's out in the open? Any comments? Concerns? Give me something. I'm out of the way. <laughs> oh! oh I and just like the beginning of the game, he's going to act it up and they're going to record it and edit it and act like here you beat him up. Oh, uh, I think I broke a bone. <laughs> no way he got hurt just from that. Talk about bad acting. Yo, did you guys see that? You freaking wrecked me. That right there's the real uninhibited Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for child's play. So get the hell out oh, of my Oh, I'm sight. so happy he did that. Oh, you teach those annoying brats. Same Kiryu who's sick, right? Ugh. What the fuck, man? That shit really did break a bone. Well, guess what? It's all on camera. You think he cares? Huh. I'm surprised he didn't die on impact. Hurry up and get him, guys. I'll be right here recording. I hate to say, you think I he cares? Killer title. Legendary Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu gets straight up owned on camera. Um, you really want another reality check, huh? Looks like your boys are too scared to move a muscle. That's all right. We got ourselves an arrangement. The Serio clan. <sighs> I think you need to hit the kid again. Just a good measure. Just another one. Looks like Ebina knew we were coming. First he spreads lies, then he lays a trap. I'd say his true colors are starting to show. Right. This pretty much amounts to a declaration of war. Then how should we handle this, Kiryu-san? No question. If they want to fight, they've got one. Let's go. All right, be up the kids first. Bring it on. 
Hope you're ready. <laughs> no. What's the hold yeah. up? Check this out. Okay, the kids are immediately down. I'm on the roll. Let's go. Uh, I'm not back. Really, guys? I won't take that. You know what? No, 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 no. I want you to aim for it. There he is. No begging for mercy now. Hey, boy. How you doing? You want to with this? Take Happy birthday! Oh, round two. Okay. You guys didn't get to lay a finger on me. You want right. to go? Once again. Try this on the side. Gather round. Ah! It's my turn. Try to block this. Ho, 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 ho. Follow my lead. Nope. Think you can handle this? And oh. yeah, we just owned them. We have a winner. You picked the wrong Ooh. one. Hell yeah. There's more where this came from. Wicked wall drills. Yes. <laughs> I love that outfit on her. Oh, it looks great. That black and red. Also, yeah, you stupid annoying kid. You got it coming. Right before, you said you had an arrangement with the Seiryu clan. What did you mean by that? <sighs> uh, hard to say. Water. Answer me water. now, or that bone's going back in its socket. And I can't guarantee you'll like it. Do it, do it, do it. <gasps> okay, uh, uh, I got a message from the Tatara channel. They knew about you, and said you'd be coming to Seiryu HQ. They also said to taunt you and get footage that the clan would protect us if we did. So, Sunhee's guess was right. Ebina really has been pulling Tatara's strings. Yeah. And so is his accomplice. They also made Kasuga go to Hawaii. There had to be a reason for that, too. What kind of reason, though? Let me ask what's happening in Hawaii. I've got a contact over there. Who would that be? He probably means Hanawa-san, guy from the Taidoji faction. I got a feeling we're gonna hear a phone call and something bad happened, then we're gonna cut back to Ichiban. It's gonna be a few days earlier. Uh-oh. He's not picking up? Isn't it late at night over there? It could be they're all snoring by now. That's not good. Uh oh. He's gonna. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. I feel something like that was going down. So we might be jumping back in the Hawaii, depending on what happens. No, active party is still showing Kiryu. Okay. So the safe house is no longer safe. He's dead. I don't think he's out conscious. I think he's dead. I think the person in the wheelchair uh, is not a good guy i think he is on the other side because come on he shows up at the beginning and he's like oh i'm just gonna follow you because i'm gonna repay you and then he just keeps showing up randomly i don't trust him huh but yeah i think the reason why they sent kiryu to hawaii is because they know he won't stop searching for his mother because they want to find her hmm Okay. This is getting interesting. I could do less VTuber, but I think that might be the last time we see that. I did not just not a VTuber guy. Never will have never have been, never will be. But yeah, no, they clearly did all the setups. They are framing us for everything right now, but uh, 
But hey, you want to know what? I'm going to call it. I'm going to go to bed. I'll think over on this. Next time, we'll resume from chapter... What is it? Nine. Hmm. I need to do more side content. By more side content, I mean Dodoki Island. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.